one of the best writers of picture books for children was Ezra Jack Keats. Now, he wrote a very famous book that every teacher uses during the winter in primary grades called A Snowy Day. This story, called High Cat, is not that, but it's still a very good story. So, there's the cat. On his way to meet Peter, Archie saw someone new on the block. Hi, cat, he said as he walked by. He looked at his reflection in a store window. Peter was waiting at the corner. Make way for your old grandpa, Archie said in a shaky voice. He looked Peter up and down. My, my, Peter, how you've grown. Why, grandpa, Peter said, it's good to see you. Hello, my children, Archie croaked. Hi, Grandpa, Susie giggled. Willie was so happy to see Archie, he ran over and licked his face. Archie tasted delicious. Willie licked and licked and licked. No respect for old age. See? There's Archie being licked. Archie whispered something to Peter and ran off. Stick around, folks, Peter called. We have a surprise for you. When Archie got back, he and Peter worked while everyone waited. Okay, Peter announced. Make way for Mr. Big Face. A big paper bag appeared. Then a tongue stuck out of one of the eyes. A hand came out of an ear and motioned everyone to move closer. They all obeyed. Suddenly, the bag began to shake. It shook harder and harder, and meow. People started to leave. Wait, wait, the show will go on. See the tallest dog in the world take a walk, Archie shouted. Show, show, Grandpa. Some tall dog. Who ate your mustache, Grandpa? Everyone walked away laughing. Soon, no one was left except Archie, Peter, Willie, and the torn paper bag. It would have been great if it wasn't for that crazy cat, said Peter as they walked home. Hmm, said Archie. He sure stuck around. And all I said was, hi, cat, said Archie, finishing his story. You're well rid of a cat like that, said his mother. Archie thought for a while. You know what, Ma, he said? I think that cat just kind of liked me.